during the Jeep Start Something New sales event, well-qualified returning Grand Cherokee lessees get a low-mileage lease on select 2020 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo E 4x4 models for $199 a month for 24 months for $3,179 to its signing tax title license extra. Call 1-888-925-JEEP for details. Requires due to contribution lease to Chrysler Capital. Currently spliced in by 2-1-2021 on oldest 20% inventory of 2020 Grand Cherokee models and dealer stock for longest as of 1-3-2020. Extra charge for miles over 20,000 residency restrictions apply. Take delivery by 2-3-2020. Jeep is a registered trademark. Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and this is episode 1704 of No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm the host of this show, as I have been since its inception in 2010. Yes, you heard that right, 2010, and this is the number one show in Apple Podcasts for Job Search. No show, not a one, is even close to this one. And um, I've been helping people for a long time, as you can tell. After all, how many podcasts do you know were available in 2010? Come on, come on, you can tell me. Not all that many, right? Well, today's show is one geared toward managers. Yesterday or the day before, I don't remember which one, I dealt with one for rookies. This one's geared toward more experienced people. Explain the formula of experiences that shape your leadership style. Great question, isn't it? Hope you found it helpful and give it a great review in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you listen to the show. And let's just get going, okay? Yeah, this is one of those tough interview questions. It falls into the behavioral interview realm. And to answer this question, I want you to understand the model that a lot of firms work with when they evaluate where you fit into this spectrum. It falls into the realm of six possible options. Let me just walk you through this so you understand. As you answer the question, you'll see how things are guiding you. And I'm going to start up in the old pecking order, uh, starting with the oldest one first, which is the commanding uh, leadership style, which is the basic my way or the highway approach. Not real successful, but If you're stepping into a situation where a firm is in crisis, this is an ideal approach to take. You need to stabilize the wound and hold it to a baseline and build from there. And you're going to do damn well what I tell you to do. Pace setting. You set up a, a set of standard for an organization. You roll up your sleeve. So every time you see a job description that involves a hands-on this or that, they're looking for pace setters. Uh, um, I'm sorry. Then there's the, um, where is it? The attributive style. I apologize. I took some notes down and I didn't really set uh, markers for myself. There's the attributive style, which looks for harmony that people come first and then outcomes. And certain organizations like this culture. They want to make sure that everyone is on board with a decision before they move forward. Democratic, the group solves the problem. And you take a step back and you almost abdicate your leadership. You pause for a second and seek consensus. Consensus tends not to work all that well, but the idea in this model of leadership is that you know you try to get everyone in the group on board, even if you have to sacrifice some edges uh, to accomplish it. Then there's the coaching style. You help people find their own answers. You're not directing them in any way, but you're asking questions that are designed to help elicit responses from them that allow them to take action. And then there's the authoritative style, which is the visionary for an organization who tries to inspire and won't tell you how to get there. Statistically, authoritatives and coaches uh, as leadership style tend to be most effective. So as you answer this question, you want to think in terms of what you understand about the position, the organization, its culture, and its need at this particular point in order to understand how you uh, tell a story that 
demonstrates the style of leadership. For example, if you were trying to um, create an author authoritative culture or want to be the authoritative leader, you would talk about creating a vision for an organization, a group, a team, a division, and how you did that in the past, took disparate uh, elements and just walked around the organization and created the vision for the, for the firm, for the group, for the division, whichever business unit. And from there, inspired people to be greater than themselves. Coupling this with the coaching mo model, you start to ask people, you know, how they might want to get there, the actions that they might want to take. You know, what are you trying to achieve here? Um, because you may set a vision, but there are benchmarks along the way for achievement, and you're trying to elicit those kind of responses as a coach might. Never directing them, but inspiring them uh, so that they exceed their own perceived limits. And from there, work together to achieve the results. And like I said, there's a place for a commanding individual because some organizations are in crisis. But assuming that you're stepping into one that isn't in crisis, approaching this from the authoritative style and from the coaching style together would go a long way toward demonstrating excellence in answering this question. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few more ways to get more from me. First of all, there's my website, which is thebiggamehunter.us. I have more than 8,000 blog posts there that you can watch, listen to, or read that will help you find your next job. In addition, if you're interested in my coaching you, at the site, there's a button there that says Schedule. Schedule time for a free discovery call. Schedule yourself in for coaching, interview preparation coaching, salary negotiation advice, how to have your questions answered or coaching related to hiring more effectively, managing and leading, helping you be a better executive in your organization, and overall being a better employee of your firm. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Mention that you watch or listen to my content. I like knowing I'm helping folks. Once we're connected, if you're interested in coaching, let me know. I think it's easier at the website, but if that's the way you want to do it, so be it. Lastly, join my group on Facebook called Career Angles. It's focused on helping you do better at work. Information there is shared daily, and I'm attempting to build a supportive group there. Ask to join. I'm not letting recruiters in, so I want to make it a safe place for everyone. I'll be back tomorrow with more, and in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Be great!